Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna to be experimenting with the Avada to see if the uh, tripod mount thingy will actually work with it when we attach to Osmos Action 4. Yeah, that's right. It's been over a year and I waited this long to uh, experiment with it and I think it should work out pretty good um, because what I wanna do is I wanna see how it flies with um, out the motor upgrade and then I wanna see how it flies with the motor upgrade. So this is gonna be without the motor upgrade and then flying it with the um, little attachment thing here. It's called DJI Avada Apical Modules um, little camera mount thingy, as you can see right here. Um, so without any further ado, let's get started. So most likely you'll need your Avada. Um, as you can see, we have the kit here. We can put it together. Uh, it's a really simple uh, build if that makes any sense, uh, because everything you need is in the kit, and this thing right here comes with the Osmos Action, so you should have one already, uh, and it's just a matter of mounting it to the existing. So I'll probably use um, existing parts for this. All right, so we'll put that over here. Uh, Alexa, stop all timers. As you can see, we have here, we're just going to, whoops, move the Avada to the side for a little bit. And then if we can open this thing, see what it comes with. See, it has the screws and bolts. We just have to remove everything else from the Avada. Um, it's pretty light. I'm not sure. Let's see what the Avada actually weighs, how much weight it's actually going to put on uh, your, your, your drone. If that makes any sense. Uh, it weighs exactly. Hmm. Maybe take it off. Oops. Minus 178. Okay, so now we're just going to put the Avada on. Wow, 226 grams. Okay. That's not bad. 226. Too bad it doesn't save it. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Now we got 282. Is that right? Yeah, it's not leaning on anything. Wow, 282, 283. Rid of this scale. I guess it was mainly supposed to be used for smoothies, not drones. All right, so without any further ado, we'll continue. And so most likely, these are the screws here that come out. Hopefully the key that it comes with will work. And then we'll be able to compare the flights between the two experiences. Put this over here. I'll just lay everything out so you know where it is. We have three screws. Apparently, uh, one might be an extra one, supposedly. And then this, I believe, mounts on. Hopefully, it fits too. Oh, nice! It does fit. And then this one goes like that. Um, it's not a secure connection, if that makes any sense, because. Um, if you look, you see like they're um, they're open the brackets on the side, which is okay. Um, but um, what you want to do is see the brackets are open on the side, like they're not sort of like it's three D printed in a way. That's okay. We'll get it working. So the hopefully the Allen key it comes with um, will uh, remove the existing screw. Yes, because that sometimes. Um, but actually, I think I have a universal. This one's supposed to be for the Avada, from what I hear. Yep. And it's magnetic. Well, because it's hard to turn the Allen key, believe it or not. So remember, we're only removing the screw, okay? And thankfully, it's magnetic. And you want to actually, actually, you know what? I'm going to keep this inside the Ziploc bag because we want, um, you know screws to go back to where they were especially if we're going to do the motor upgrade uh we want to um put things back nice and they have thread locker on them feel free to re-thread them i mean I just but i wouldn't re-thread them um until they were um oh nice and until you were sure that it actually worked. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to throw this little uh, ring washer thingy. I'm going to put the washer on both. Um, and then, of course, keep the extra screw 
in the package with the other ones, right? Uh, in case you guys are wondering what happened to my Mavic 3, thankfully I have the DJI Care Refresh. Uh, apparently, obstacle avoidance, which is a great feature to put on the drone, doesn't work when you're in cruise control. Bummer, right? And that's how the drone crashed into the house. Um, yeah, you live and learn, and don't buy a Nevada without Care Refresh. You know, and it has been a while since I had flown it. And the only downside for that, for me, is that I'll be down a drone. Um, you know, and I'll, I will renew the Care Refresh because it is an expensive drone. The Mavic is a powerful drone, um, but not as powerful as you think it is. Only, I guess, the military-grade drones um, will... will um, have obstacle avoidance activated when using cruise control. All right, all right. So, all right. So we got that. So now you just want to make sure that everything is lined up. So you might have to pull this down a little bit, just enough to, just enough to get the bolt in. If that makes any sense. And this is steel. So I wonder if, uh, nope, it's not magnetic. So that part's going to be tricky getting it into the hole. Uh, but doesn't mean it can't be done. Nice. This is a really simple, fast upgrade. So you need that steel bolt, uh, probably so that it holds everything in place. Uh, I'm not sure if it does, there are no instructions. I'm not sure. Most likely it goes on top, um, you know, to hold everything in place, not the bottom because it's plastic. So it'll just run right through. So it sort of like holds it in, I believe. You know, not, don't get me wrong. If I'm doing this wrong, please do um, leave it in the comment section because we take your comments and constructive criticism and convert it into a video. We love the hate you give and we love the love. And that's what keeps this channel going, you know. Um, all right, so let's see how easy and quick this upgrade is um, remember keep your screws handy and the tool just in case because who knows I might strip that and then it won't work anymore. All right, and that took you know about a ten minute upgrade. And now for this part, so I'm going to use the original one that came with this one, right? Okay, just unscrew it, or you could use stock parts, whatever works for you. And I'm just going to put it inside the bag, right? And um, put this thing in, thread it through this thing right here. The uh, hopefully, yeah, they're both the same length. I was gonna say, hopefully, they're not different, you know, like not the same one. Uh, actually, no, the original stock part is too short, too short, so you have to use the one that it came with. Unless, hold on, let's see, yeah, oh, actually, I was doing it wrong. It goes like that, see? And then we screw it in. So you could use the original mount kit. Nice. I don't think this is gonna put that, be that detrimental to the weight on the drone. Um, make sure you put your screwdrivers back so you have them ready for later. Um, just gonna get rid of the garbage. Let's see how much it weighs now. It's really hard to weigh it. Oh, but actually, you know what? Oh, no, I was going to say I should have put it upside down. But, so, move that out of the way. And now we're just going to, I wonder if it could go upside down to weigh it. Possibly. Let's see how much it weighs. Uh, oh, forgot you can't weigh it when... When it's when uh, it's on, it doesn't work like your home scale when you're testing your weight. All right. Wow, 449 grams. That's a big increase in weight. It's hard to believe that the um, the kit weighs almost more than the drone. Nah, maybe it's this is not. I wouldn't. I guess 447, 48. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. Four, 449. Um, let's see if I can get it over there. 448, 47, depending on where you try and tip the scale. Around there. Because it come, when it, if it's off the scale, you win some, you lose some. 
um, but I'm not going to tilt it a little bit that way. And that's it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the action four and put it on there. Wish me luck. Um, I guess I should leave it in the case. So the audio is going to sound a little bit different because I'm going to have to pull out the, um, the, uh, speaker thingy. All right. So let's see how this baby flies. All right. So here we are. Um, so far everything sounds normal. Looks good. Uh, you know, it's kind of neat being able to do this and compare the difference between the um, Avada stock camera and a DJI Osmos Action 4. Um, pretty good. The, has the, has the, uh, as it lifts up, you can hear the motor straining a little bit um, because it's actually carrying twice its weight. Um, it's really heavy, but that, I could see why they recommend the DJI uh, motor upgrade. But let's see how this flies and compare after.
Well, I'm not sure. What did you think? I just have this. I want to see how I look in there. Um, it, it was okay. I felt like the motors were straining. It didn't fly the way I thought it, it would fly originally without any attachments to it. It wasn't probably meant to be flown that way, which was why someone came up with the motor upgrade. Uh, the battery pretty much was, dot, was dead. Uh, usually on a flight like that, if you've ever seen me do that, the battery is sometimes at um, uh, 50%. Um, with this flight, with the Osmos Action Floor atta uh, 4 attached to it, it was, it was pretty much one bar and it was flashing. And you want to make sure that um, you launch the DJI MIMO app because you want to be able to see yourself. Not yourself, but the camera angle. As you saw, the camera um, Action 4 was pointing more down. And with the Avada, originally, the gimbal will just adjust accordingly and it's already set. So you want to launch the app and say, oh, I look good there. Oh, I look good there. Not you, but your whatever it is you're going to be filming. And the higher up, the better. But the trick is to figure that out, um, you know, before you start flying because the battery is going to be gone. And then most likely on your second flight, you might have the, um, the uh, uh, footage that you want or are looking for for that particular flight. And the only way to do that is to adjust it like this, just sort of like a, okay, maybe like there. Maybe I'll put it down because as you saw in the beginning of the video, I didn't do that. Um, but you know, so when you move closer, your head's cut off. But it's, I'm not worried about my head because this was a video on how to do the install. But for you guys, you want to make sure, I guess going with the camera angle all the way down doesn't really work too well. So you want to put it at that right pitch. What that pitch is, I don't know, because you have to decide if it depends on what you're shooting. Um, you know, then just take it from there. So what do you think? What, how did you guys, uh, which video did you like? One look for Christ's sake. Did anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. From what I hear, it's the same camera on the Avada and on the Action 4. So maybe it's just the software that makes a big difference. But looks like I have another firmware update. Welcome back to everything that glitches. So we'll have to see how it flies after that. But that pretty much sums it up. It was okay. I was a little nervous and a couple near misses, but you decide. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.